Hello and welcome to Marking Margaritas. This is a soundbite episode, so it's just a little shorty one. And I wanted to touch base on recruitment marketing basics. So um, we've done podcasts properly on recruitment marketing before, and I've got a recruitment marketing seminar on the website. Um, but I just thought it was important to revisit it because every second inquiry at the moment is about recruitment marketing. And my heart goes out to other business owners and their teams who, um, are going through this at the moment because there's just so many people and it's just getting worse and worse. Um, And I, yeah, I just can't imagine, like, I mean, I obviously do have staff turnover happen for me, but mine is just a matter of time before I'm full team again. Whereas I know some people who have been recruiting for roles for years now um, and who haven't actually had a full team in a really long time. And I just think, how can you think about growing or launching something new or getting to where you want to in business? Um, You know, like upskilling your team, upskilling yourself, stepping back, anything that you actually want to do can be in such a stranglehold when you don't have enough good crew around you to get the work done. So just really quick, three basics to cover off on. Firstly is why should someone work for you? What do you offer? Um, You know, what is it that you have that other employees don't? If you're not sure, go ask your current employees why they work there. And don't just assume to know the answer, actually ask them. You would be surprised um, at some of the feedback that you can get from your own team on why they like working with you. Um, You know, and ask suppliers, you know, ask clients, ask people who actually know you why you are worth working with. Um, And then once you know it, Are you clearly and consistently communicating what makes you an employer of choice? So we can't just say things like, oh, sorry, you can just say things like, oh, competitive rates, family environment, all that kind of stuff, but it's also what everyone else is saying. So you've really got to think about what is it that makes you different um, and then making sure that you're putting that out there consistently, you know, getting that message out there. Then it's also looking about where you can find people and their influences. So thinking outside the box, where are they hanging out online and in person and how can you be there and show up in a memorable and interesting way? Now, when I say influences, I don't mean like social media influences and stuff. I mean the actual people in our our circle around us who influence us. So when it comes to recruitment marketing, this is what I mean is it's not just about the candidate, It's about the people who are close to them. Um, So, you know, it can be parents, partners, that kind of thing, friends, et cetera, who are like, oh, I know you're looking for work, I saw this. So it's not always the the end person who ends up working for you that you're necessarily targeting with your marketing, it's also the people who will refer them to you. And lastly, are you keeping your good people? Now, I don't want to, um, you know, slight anyone or anything here, but I think sometimes it's like anything in life, we also do need to have a hard look at ourselves. And if you keep losing people, there might be some other underlying issues rather than just recruiting for good people. Um, you know, is, is it actually a workplace that people want to work at? And if not, why not? And how can you fix that? Because no matter how much advertising you do, how much you pay for recruitment and onboarding people, etc., if there's some fundamental issues in your workplace, you're not going to keep them anyway and you're just going to be stuck on this merry-go-round and it, it's just never going to work for you. Um, and if you do have a really good workplace, then and it, you know, look at your onboarding, look at your offboarding, like thinking about with the people that you want to keep there, you know, if, if they're all leaving, why? You know what I mean? So like even now we do an exit interview and we go through with people, you know, what did they think about the office? What did they think about me? What did they think about the team? What can we improve on? And it's not a chance for them, you know, like they don't just open up and be like, oh, you guys suck or anything. It's like, no, we really love Rebel, but, um, you know, I wanted to try something different and they seemed like a good opportunity. It's like, cool, okay, so creatives are people who want to try different things and have different opportunities. How can I incorporate that more into my business? You know what I mean? So you need to learn how to keep those good people Um, and on on that too it's not just about communicating that employer of choice message externally you need to keep engaging and proving it to your team as well so I very much work from a people first approach Um, 
It might not be what other people necessarily recommend in business, but I just think without my team, I have no business. Um, so for me, I just think it's so important for people to know how valued they are. And I, I find that not just in business, that's just in life. I just always want people to know how grateful I am for them and, and how much they mean to me um, and how you know they help me to do the things that I want to in life. And this is just really important with your team for them to know that and for you to continually be showing that to them, proving that to them. Um, because yes, you're giving them money and that gives them a livelihood, but work if you just want to make work just about money, then maybe that's one of the reasons why you're having trouble with recruitment. Because I know for me, working is not just about money and I hope that for my team it isn't about it as well. Um, my wrap up tip here is if you don't have a point of difference, make one. So business can be really challenging and you know, it's there's so many things to concentrate on, but you just can't expect things to fall into your lap. So if you don't put any effort in, then you're not going to get anything out. So make yourself an employer of choice. Figure out what that point of difference is. Continually let people know about it, including the people who already work for you. And um, best of luck out there. Cheers. Thanks for listening to this episode of Marketing and Margaritas. Find more free marketing tips, tricks and laughs at rebelnation.com.au.